Hi, this video is about the Rays 3D Pro 2 printer. It's my first printer. I acquired it in late May. I have to say it's transformed my design process and building process. It's extremely useful, especially when you're printing engineering grade filaments that are carbon or glass filled. I'm going to talk about the primary change I made, which relates to the cooling of the hot ends. They're, they use a small thin heat sink and a fan. As you can see, I've designed and added in uh, copper heat sinks that are water cooled. I was experiencing numerous jams and freeze ups in some of these higher end filaments and finally traced it back to the fact that I, I think the hot end was too hot and it was uh, freezing in the throat tube. This has completely cured that problem. As you can see, I've presently got the left nozzle set at 250C, and I can stick my finger right on that heat sink. It's not even warm to the touch. It's extremely effective. The cooling is provided by a small pump and radiator. You can see the tubes, water tubes coming back. And this is based on a kit from E3D. They supply the pump and the little radiator with a fan. The radiator and fan is probably a little overkill, but on the other hand, it means you don't need a large reservoir. It works extremely well. Uh, they supply some of the tubing, and I've made up a few adapters to go from the large tubing down to the small tubing using some proper tubing and some brass fittings that I machine. It's all sitting in a little plastic box which acts as a moat in the unlikely event that there's a, a leak, which I haven't had any problem in the two and a half weeks I've been running with the liquid cooling. I can now run the uh, 3DX Carbon X Gen 2 fiber without any problems whatsoever, uh, along with some other uh, PLAs that were a little problematic. Uh, this has been a really valuable upgrade. I'll discuss some of the other upgrades I've done in a later video.